Hi, my name is Carla and I read sometimes. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm wearing a beret because I'm going to Paris in like three days and I feel like wearing a beret to Paris is a little bit too Emily in Paris for me. So we're channeling it here right now in Madrid because I don't think I'm gonna wear it. Although this outfit is slaying so maybe I should wear it. Today we're gonna talk about my Christmas holiday haul because I got gifted a bunch of books for Christmas and other things and I'm really excited to show you because I don't normally buy books because um, I don't have that much money and <laughs> books are expensive so when I get gifted like in my, at my birthday and Christmas I'm always super excited so I got gifted a bunch of books honestly I'm really really excited first Let's start with books that my parents gifted me because they went to Portugal without me because I was studying and they got me a bunch of books from the oldest library in the world, I think. The oldest library in the world, Bernard, I don't know, I'm not sure. One of these books, last video or two videos ago, I made a video about all the books that I would never ever in my life read and one of them was... Where the crowd at sing by Delia Owens and I gave my reasons why I didn't want to read it and I still think they're fair but I'm going to have to eat my words because my parents with all the love in the world got me this from the oldest library in the world and what am I gonna do not read it now I have to read it so yeah they got me where all the crowd at sing in Portugal but the book is in English so it's just I think there's another book ah <gasps> Another one is Instructions for Dancing by Nicola Yoon. This is the same author from Everything Everything. I haven't read that one, but there's dancing in this book. So yeah, I'm reading it right now. I'm like halfway through, I think, and I am actually liking it. The story is interesting. The main character, I don't really vibe with her totally, but I can understand her. And I think it's actually a really cool plot. So Evie has this thing when she sees other people kiss, like couples kiss, she can see their past, like the beginning of the relationship, right now the moment they are, and then how it ends. This whole thing kind of deviates from this book she picked up, I think, somewhere. And in this book, it's said to go to a dance studio. So she goes there and she meets a certain someone and they have to dance. And this all stems, I think, from their parents' divorce. I like a mix of lighthearted and hard topics. So I enjoy that. I am actually really liking it. Uh, it's also a really small book, like really thin. That's why I picked it up first thing because I'm, I was kind of an, in a reading slump. So if I picked up this one, I was going to have a hard time, so I just picked the thinnest one. Then, I got this for myself with my own money. I got I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. I was really excited to read this because I find mother-daughter relationships super interesting and she obviously has a very interesting relationship with her mother. So I haven't read it yet because, like I said, I was kind of a reading slump. And I don't think this one is the one to get me out of the reading slump because it feels sort of deep and that like I have to think a lot. So I think this one is the next one I'm going to read after I finish Structures for Dancing. Then, uh, now we start with Christmas books that I got. I got two Taylor Jenkins read books, Malibu Rising and Harry Sotto is Back, which I think they are, like, are together, right? There's this one and then you have to read this one, but I am not sure. I'm going to have to understand the Taylor Jenkins read multiverse because I know sort of all the stories are around the same circle of like celebrities and important people in this universe but i am not sure i've read daisy jones and the six and the seven husbands of Evelyn hugo and i loved both of them i forced all my family like my parents and my brother to read the seven husbands and they loved it and i also forced my brother to read daisy jones and the six and they also loved it so my brother was the one who got me these two books so he got this mainly for me but also for him because he really likes taylor jenkins read as well i have absolutely no idea what these books are about but i trust taylor jenkins read so i'm just going to read them and then see how it goes i don't know why this book is so freaking big look at the other one 
I, I wanted to have all my Taylor Jenkins read books together, but because the other two are this size and this one is freaking super big, then I can't have them together and it bothers me. They also gave me Seven Days in June by Tia Williams, which was really talked about maybe a year ago or something like that and i really want to read it i don't really know what genre or what story it is i know it has romance in it i'm just going for the vibes i'm really excited to read this i've heard super good things about it i am saying that for every book of course i'm excited to read them because mm, they gifted me the books and i'm always excited to read i want to read more books in french because i am learning french i have like a b1 level or something like that maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less and i want to practice my french because i can sort of read and i can sort of understand but i want more because i can tell that i lack vocabulary so i want to improve my french and i want to read in french but i don't want it to be super complicated so if any of you guys know french and you have a book in french that you really like recommend it to me and i will read it because i want to read more books in french then my brother gifted me this pride and Pre no sense and sensibility by jen austin it's hardcover and it's in spanish which it's fine because i like to read classics in spanish sometimes in english it's a little bit complicated <laughs> not jen austin but other books in english they're hard for example i haven't read one of my favorite books ever is the picture of dorian gray and i haven't read it in english <laughs> because i'm scared because i i have a good level in english but i still struggle sometimes and especially with classics they get so wrapped up and so deep I just don't understand the meanings of things in English, so I prefer to read in Spanish. So, sense and sensibility, yeah. I am excited to read this, but honestly, I started Emma and I haven't been able to finish it and it's kind of weighing in my conscience because I've started it in summer, I think I started it and it's still there it's still there it's haunting me because i haven't been able to finish it then i got so here's the thing i asked my aunt for emily dickinson's poems because i love emily dickinson i love her story things that i've read of her i i watched dickinson and of course i fell in love with emily and i find her story so interesting all the stuff with her sister-in-law and so interesting. I saw online that she had like 11 published poems when she was alive. So when I asked my aunt for the complete collection, I thought it would have those 11 poems and then a couple more that they found when she had already died and then published because I knew that I knew that that had happened. Her sister published some of her poems after her death i didn't realize it would be this many <laughs> oh my god what it's like i saw that it was like 1775 poems are you are you kidding me i <laughs> i'm glad she wrote that much but jesus christ whatever i love her writing i love how she talks about death i was thinking of maybe reading one poem a day or something like that it's gonna take me like three years to read the freaking book, but it's okay. Also, I know that in Taylor Swift's Evermore, she took inspiration from Emily Dickinson, the way she writes her poems and like the themes and everything. And I really like Evermore and I really like Emily Dickinson and I really like Taylor Swift. So, I mean, I think it's obvious what I had to do. Then, also from my aunt, another book of poems it's sylvia plath's poems it's not all of them i think this is super cool it's organized the poems are organized in chronological order so you can kind of see the progress of her poems and i think that's super cool i don't know much about sylvia plath other than the way that she died which happens with a couple of writers <laughs> because they're so dramatic in the way that they die like i think this one analyzes herself sticking her head in the oven i think and then another one i i mix two up there's another one it's also a woman and there's one that like stuck a bunch of rocks in her body and then threw herself in a river which one is it which writer is it ah 
is it Virginia Woolf? It's Virginia Woolf. Maybe I should know more. Honestly, maybe I should know more. I know she had a really tragic life, um, obviously. Poems are not my favorite kind of book. I have a hard time with poems because you can't really read the whole book at once. And I have a hard time reading them because I just don't know how. My cousin gave me the idea of reading one poem a day and I think that's a good idea but just sometimes you forget or you don't vibe with it that day or something. And yeah, I don't really know how to consume poetry books. How do you consume poetry books? If you know it, please tell me if you're a fan of poetry because honestly, I don't know how to consume poetry books. I've just realized that. Yeah. <laughs> questions this is a super ranty video i'm sorry a super like diffused video i don't have good ideas today my mind is just like floating around in space i have no ideas left in me you are witnessing an existential crisis right now i hope you enjoyed that ah you know what i also got for christmas when I tell people that I'm a really big fan of Taylor Swift, they assume that I have a lot of things of her. But I have just like two CDs and that's it. <laughs> and I'm super grateful for it. And I'm super happy, honestly. I stare at my DVDs. I have them here in my shelf. The folk up is up there. And I just stare at them sometimes. And I'm like, they're so beautiful. Especially the folk one. It's just so beautiful. And I have a poster also of Taylor Swift in her lover era. She looks great. I'm sorry, this is just, I don't know how it's deviated to a Taylor Swift uh, appreciation post. What did I want to say? Uh, yeah, do you know? I'm just gonna <laughs> use this to brag. Another thing that I have to prove that I'm a Taylor Swift fan is Taylor Swift commented on my TikTok and she said she laughed at my TikTok and I was freaking out in my house. I was screaming. I still haven't gotten over it, obviously, but um, yeah, Taylor Swift knows this half of my face and she thinks I'm funny, so <laughs> that's my proudest achievement right there. So if you enjoyed this chill video and you got to the end, thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. I post videos maybe like twice a month or something like that because Honestly, I have a lot on my plate. <laughs> I wish I could post more. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And see you next time, I think. <laughs>